All right. Today I'm going to show you how to install wirelessly or connect wirelessly a HP 3000 DeskJet or HP DeskJet 3000 uh, or an HP DeskJet 3050. I had one of those in the past. Uh, how to connect it wirelessly to Mac OS. Um, I couldn't find this anywhere online. I had to do a lot of experimenting. I finally figured it out. Figured I'd put this tutorial up online. Uh, it might be useful to some, to some other people. So, the first thing is you have to actually connect this wire, uh, this printer via wire. So I have a USB that's going from my computer into the back of the uh, the printer itself. You know those standard cable uh, printer cables, what they look like. You should be able to figure that out. So I'm connect. So I do not have it yet um, connected. You'll see if I try to set up another computer, ignore this office jet, it's my other wireless printer. Uh, there's nothing for me to add yet because I don't have this thing where actually plugged into the computer yet via the USB. Plug it in now. Boom. All right, that brother, that's another computer, another printer I have. Um, ignore that one. And I had this set up before, so it kind of automatically just connected. Um, if I didn't have it set up, all you would have had to do was highlight it here. Uh, you'll hit add. There might be something where um, Mac, the computer, the Mac computer will automatically figure out which uh, which driver to use. Um, just let it do its thing. It'll pick this one. Hit add. You'll get to this point right here. So now I could print wire. Uh, with the wire. Uh, however, you know, we're trying to set up this up wirelessly. So from here, the next step is to uh, have the DeskJet 3000 highlighted. We'll go to Options and Supplies. We'll go to Utility, Open Printer Utility. And here, this is something else that actually, it, when I did this the first time, it installed this little piece of HP utility software. It was an automatic free download from online. Mac just knew to get it. I just uh, downloaded it. it, took about two seconds, and installed it, it took about another two seconds. You'll get to this stage. <clears throat> so looking at these, you can get a bunch of stats, I guess, from this little software. Um, but we need this. We want to double-click this one on the bottom, the wireless setup. I just double-clicked it, taking a little time. Good. Uh, this is my wireless network name. Uh, yours will be different. Um, but this is basically the network my printer is going to connect to in order to connect wirelessly again to my computer. I'll keep these settings. I'll hit continue. HP wants access to your keychain. Just allow. So it's configuring. Uh, this took maybe minute or two when I did it the first time. Uh, bear with me. If it takes a really long time, I'll just skip ahead in the video. HP device is being configured. Again, this worked for an HP DeskJet 3000, this J310 series. Also, I had a couple months ago a DeskJet 3050. I don't know what other DeskJet models there are. I'm assuming it's going to work for a lot of them. So, uh, this should be pretty good video universally for these deck jet, uh, these HP desk jets. <coughs> Excellent. HP device is now configured correctly, has joined the network. We'll hit done. Connecting to the device. Great. No longer need this. We're all set here. Now what I have to do is let's see, hit the plus sign again to add another printer. And there will be this bonjour, uh, not the USB multifunction, but this bonjour DeskJet 3000 option comes up. And uh, that's the one you're going to add as well to add the printer wirelessly to your computer. So now if I unplug the DeskJet from my MacBook, you'll see I lose the... Uh, I have the wired one, which I'm going to get rid of because I'm nowhere going to use the wired one. But I still have ready to go the wireless printer. Uh, all set from there. Write me a question or a comment. If you have any questions or comments in the video, I'll 
hit them up. Try to uh, take care of it. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned.